Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. Today I'm going to talk about performance monitor counters. If you are troubleshooting SQL Server performance, you must have definitely heard about these counters. Whenever we talk about performance monitor counters, we tend to go to the Perfmon tool, which comes with Windows operating system. And as a developer or DBA, we launch the Perfmon tool and then we add counters and there are just so many of them which are under um, your SQL Server instance and, and you know there are objects and then the counters and then we tend to analyze them either by number or uh, using the graphical user uh, interface uh, and you can see real-time statistics uh, with these uh, counters. Uh, the Perfmon tool is nice. It gives you the plotting. Uh, you can see a bar chart, you can see line plots, so on and so forth. But uh, I have seen with my clients, sometimes uh, database administrators and developers will not have access to the Perfmon tool, uh, which is on Windows. So on production environment, it becomes uh, gets difficult to monitor the values of these counters. And let me tell you, these uh, counters, some of them at least are really good. Uh, you can get uh, some very important information from these counters, which uh, sometimes is not available or is available with a lot of difficulty from inside SQL Server. Um, now, you may know that in SQL Server, there is a DMV, SysDMOSPerf uh, counters, and using that DMV, you can actually uh, get the values of these counters, the same counters that you see in the Perfmon tool, um, and you can uh, analyze them. But when you run uh, a simple select star from that DMV, all you will see uh, the snapshot and the value of those counters at that point in time when you ran the DMV. So I am going to show you a technique now on uh, how you can use that DMV, the output of that DMV, store it in baseline database, run it frequently. And of course, you can then uh, you know do plotting and charting and that data set is as good as uh, you know the Perfmon tool where you see the graph. Action time, let's jump to demo. Let's get started with the demo. So the DMV is uh, sys dm underscore os underscore performance counters. And let's go and execute. And you will see uh, overwhelming again, a lot of data close to 2,979 records. These are all uh, SQL Server counters. Uh, this is the object name. So let's say, for example, you can see a lot of uh, counters that are available in the object locks. And if you keep scrolling down, you will see most of them. And then for each database, when you have um, object as databases, so depending on the number of databases that you have, the overall data set might grow even further. And uh, uh, this video is, of course, not to talk about these objects and the counters, um, maybe some another video or there are many resources uh, available online uh, using which you can learn about these objects and counters and what could be the recommended value for each one of them. Uh, now you can see the values there, the counter value column, and this is the value of these specific counters at that point in time when the view was uh, run. Now the whole idea is I'm I'm not even going to the Perfmon tool to monitor these counters and the values. If I want real-time monitoring, of course, uh, I cannot do that from inside SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, but uh, then there is this concept of baselining. I can record this data on a periodical basis in my baseline database, and then I can observe the values, uh, the trend over a period of time. Uh, of course, um, trying to record so much data close to 3000 to 4000 records in every execution would not make sense. So you may want to filter down on specific uh, counters that you're looking for. Maybe you're troubleshooting transactions, you're troubleshooting CPU or memory or IO. Um, typically, these are um, some of the counters that I, I use. So now I am going to show you uh, one of my scripts here that I um, create uh, when I, whenever I have to baseline something. So what I do is I first create the uh, table and uh, the table will have two columns, uh, which is collection ID and collection time, and then the rest of the columns that I need. So from this DMV, I've taken the counter, the type of the counter and the value. And then I record this data 
uh, in uh, the table and uh, on every execution I will record the data uh, but always increment the collection ID. This will help me uh, keep a, a track of the ID uh, which is the collection point and the time when it was recorded and then of course I can uh, do my uh, trend analysis of the counter and the uh, values. Um, this is just for the purpose of demo. So I am I've only taken uh, some of these uh, counters just to kind of show you. You can always filter them on what you exactly need. Let me run this uh, select statement which is embedded inside the script here to show you what is the kind of output. So you can see I get the collection ID because I've just run it right now and this is the time and then I concatenate the uh, the object, the counter and the instance and I get this uh, value and this is my counter type. Uh, and the and the value of the counter at that point in time. Now, as I see, perfmon counter table is uh, uh, existing here, so I can just right click and delete this to show you from scratch. Uh, because uh, if the table does not exist, my script will create the table, and if it exists, it will just insert the data. So let's go ahead, go ahead and execute this. Seventy one rows inserted, and I am going to click on execute again, and this is going to be my second instance, uh, fifty rows, and then another. 50 rows etc uh, and this, of course this is very dynamic now let's go and look at the data what it looks like and if I do a select from this table you can see the records uh, and the values are being recorded and as I scroll down you will see collection ID uh, 2 now so you can see collection ID 2 and just trying to simulate that let's say this was recorded uh, at any uh, different time uh, and you can see the values again and then if I sc scroll down further I have my collection ID 3 and then collection ID 4. So this way uh, I can uh, record performance uh, monitor uh, data the counters data from inside SQL Server and of course can do trend analysis. So this technique uh, is very useful. So there are two takeaways uh, from this video. One is that perfmon counter values are available uh, using this DMV from inside SQL Server and the second learning that you have is baselining this data is very useful it helps you to see the trend uh, in, irrespective of what you're troubleshooting uh, and the third most important takeaway is don't try to capture anything and everything uh, really filter down and um, drill down narrow down on what exactly uh, is the problem that you're trying to troubleshoot so filter the counters based on that and only collect relevant information well then thank you very much for your time for uh, watching this video i hope to meet you again soon in another video